Hello, I'm Raja and welcome to your 12th C++ tutorial. Now, in this video, we're going to learn about while loops. Now, if you don't know what a loop is, in the last video, I just discussed everything about loops, so you should just check it out. Now, in this video, you're going to learn about while loops. Now, while loop is one of the most widely used loops. So, you guys, please pay attention and uh, get all the concepts. So, first of all, let us look at the structure of the while loop. The structure of the while loop is like this. First of all, you have to write while then a pair of parentheses and the pair of curly braces now this is while this is the place where we will put the condition okay this is the place where we will put the condition and this is the place where we will put the codes to be executed okay now this is the place where we will put the condition and this is the place where we will put the codes to be executed. Okay. Uh, I think you guys can see it, so just let's just uh, put another style of comment here. Oh, it's the same. Okay. So here we will put the condition, and here is the body of the while loop. This is called the body of the while loop inside the braces. So whatever we want to do, we'll do it inside here. And here will be our condition. So first of all, let's uh, put a condition like, suppose I make a variable int a equals 5. And here I say... Um, Okay, suppose mac uh, for while a less than five, I wanna. What do I wanna do? I just wanna print or see out uh, the value of a. Okay. So what shall we do it here? And finally, we wanna increment a. So what we are doing here is the value of a is four. So the condition here is while the value of a is less than 5 that is if the value of a is less than 5 only then the body will be executed if the value is greater than 5 of uh, or if the value is equal to 5 this body will not be executed okay so when it runs the first time the value of a gets printed that is 4 okay and then what we do is increment a Okay, so next time while the loop again comes here, it checks the condition here. S since the value has been incremented now, the value of a is now 5. Now 5 is not less than 5. So it will not print the next time. Okay, so let's run it. Uh, as you can see, it has run only one time since the value of a is 4. Now let's make it 1 and make it 5 less than equals 5 so now what will happen is first of all the value of a is 1 so it will come the program will come here and it will check the condition yes the value of a is 1 so it is less than equals to 5 so print a and then increment a now the value of a is 2 come here yes print 3 print 4 print 5 5 is less than equal to 5 print now the value of a becomes increment and it becomes 6 6 is not less than equals to 5 so it will not print again it will come out of the vital loop okay so let's run it so it should print from 1 to 5 okay so let's run it yeah it prints 1 to 5 so what is happening is first of all the value is 1 then it checks uh, 1 is less than equals to 5 so it goes and print it here and then it increments it 1 by 2 and then it again comes here and this is how it goes on so it it the body of the while loop gets executed until the condition is satisfied when the condition is not satisfied it just go and breaks out the while loop don't believe me uh, let's put a statement here out of while loop I'm sorry out of while loop so what will happen is after the condition is false it will come out of the while loop and after after while loop, it will print this statement so just go and run it okay so it just printed one to five and then it came out of while loop 
So this was a basic tutorial on while loop. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. And if you have any questions, please write those in comments. And in the next video, we're going to learn about for loops. Thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you.